Jingle bells, Jordy smells, just carb rob is cheap. Making vids for YouTube, so please sub so I can eat. Oh, <laughs> welcome everybody. Wait a minute, I gotta be nice, it's Christmas time. That ain't right, I'm just joking. Jordy doesn't smell. <laughs> but Rob is frugal. Hey, Rob. <laughs> Rob just showed me his homemade uh, camera holder. Anyway, let's get to the video and get painting this guy. Okay? Okay. The idea is to dress our Santas up a little bit like this old rolling pin snowman that I did last year. I just put some stars and some colors on it and made it a little bit more interesting. And that's what we're going to do with these two Santas here. We'll keep it simple, okay? Okay, so we got our Santa here. We put all the flesh color on him. And, you know, he's still rough in the back. But uh, we'll try and dress him up a little bit and make him look neat. And I put this color on. It's kind of like a, almost like a khaki color. I really, I'm not liking it too much, but... uh. For video purposes, this will be fine. And we'll uh, try to clean these guys up a little bit and make them look uh, a little more festive. So I got titanium white here. And I want to do the fur around his hat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this titanium white and I'm just going to outline just like this down the hood and around his face. And then we'll clean that up and decorate it even a little bit more real fast. Uh, with a couple of dots and maybe a little bit of shading afterwards. We're not going to go all the way around the Santa face with this. We're just going to put a little bit above his head and down the sides. And we'll try to sit here and not mess this up. So if you're watching, uh, like I said, I'm sorry about the, the Santa challenge when you guys tried to donate to my old paypal and that what happened was that email account had gotten stopped by google when my account got hacked so anybody that did send a donation to my paypal email yeah that didn't work that's just you know null and void because that that email won't work now i didn't even realize it until actually i tried it because i haven't really used paypal for much since then so i'm gonna have to figure out another way if you want to donate you're going to have to either use the thanks button on the top and or send me an email. Uh, I do have Apple Pay. You could try to do it like that if you don't want to use the thanks button. But that's on top of any video. So it, it's pretty easy to do if you guys still want to donate for the challenge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, the white on the rolling pin too here. And I'm going to try and paint both of these at the same time. So... I might fast forward through parts of this video so you don't have to watch the whole painting process. But basically the fur is what I'm doing here. Alright. The fur on his hat. And on the rolling pin what I also like to do is I'll, I'll put some white on the top ring and the bottom. And we'll put some uh, simple designs around that. and Just enough to dress him up and make him look uh, a little more interesting. Okay. Now what I do like to do is usually shade some black after I do this process. I'll put some black and blend those two colors in a little bit. I'll show you how to do that real quick. And then we'll put some stars on them and a couple of dots here and there. And uh, You could dress these up all kinds of ways. You could do little swirlies. You could do stars. <clears throat> I usually do dots or swirls, different colors. And the brighter the colors, you know, the more they really attract and they make the thing pop like that little Santa you see you could dress him up pretty good I'm not going to go too crazy with it because I'm trying to keep this simple and trying to keep it uh, pretty much a beginner video since we just made that little Santa over there with the sanding drum this rolling pin was from a video before that but while I got the paint out I might as well paint both of them this is what I mean about uh, just dressing them up just a little bit I'm going to add some white up here also I'm going to try and go around the whole thing at the top, and I'll do the same at the bottom. And usually I paint the handles. I may not get to that in this video, because I don't want to just do a whole video on just painting. I know it's monotonous to watch, but you'll see how it, it actually does clean the, these rolling pins up and make them a little bit... Why is there always a fly in my video? There's always something flying around in my shed. Hey, the shed warms up and the, the bugs wake up. 
you know, from the summertime. Anyway, this is what I'm doing right here. Might be, I think Rob can turn himself into a fly and he's spying on me. He, he's trying to copy the video because I called him cheap. <laughs> you watching this, Rob? Rob cracks me up. He was building a nice little phone holder for his videos today. And it was just kind of inspired me to make a little Christmas song. That's, that's going to be our Christmas jingle. Okay, so I got the rolling pin started. I got the Santa started. I'm going to do most of the video on the Santa here. And uh, I'll show you both of them when they're done later on. You'll see them in the live chats and stuff too. I'll show you. Uh, right now I'm just going to show you some of the basic techniques to get this Santa, Santa painted. And we'll show you how you can dress him up. Now I want to do his eyebrows and his beard. But I don't want them to be as white as the top up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and mix some of this tan color. Making my own eggshell white or antique white or something because I don't like the titanium white for my Santa's eyebrows and beard. I'm trying to come up with a less bright color because I don't want the eyes and the fur to be the same, you know, the, the beard hair and the fur. I want them different colors. So that right there looks like it could be uh, a bit different. As long as it's not exactly the same, I don't want it super bright, so I want that to tone down a little. And then we're going to put a little bit of uh, black or something mixed in with his beard just to bring out some simple lines and, and shading. So this right here should work. Notice how it's not the same color as the fur on top. Or that white band that we put on the bottom. So that, that helps with the contrast of the whole piece and... I mean, this is a very, very simple sand. I remember we did him with the sanding drum. But you can still make him look really cute and make it'll make a nice little Christmas decoration uh, if you paint him even just a little, which is what we're doing here. We're not really going to make this thing too fancy. I'm not going to spend hours painting him, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm just going to put this around and just get the mustache, his eyebrows and his beard and I'm not even going to worry too much about going outside the lines because we're going to put a little bit of black around that and I'll show you what I mean when I do that but it's amazing what a little bit of paint does to make like I said even a simple piece look presentable and like you did a lot of work to it As long as you don't drop them in the sawdust while they're wet like I do. <laughs> so I'm just going to go around and just put this stuff all over the beard. And pretty much forget about it after that. Now you might want to put more than one coat on. I'm just going to do pretty much one coaters and uh, for video purposes. But the more coats you put on, you double coat everything at least and it'll come out a lot nicer you know make sure you have your water to keep your brush rinsed okay now the next part is to get his eyebrows can i get this better by turning them upside down and i'm using the same color that i put on the mustache and beard because all this hair is going to be the same and he looks kind of cool with no eyes doesn't he I mean, I could do eyes. I might maybe edit a little bit of a, a piece in on the next video about how to paint the rolling pin eyes because I do want to show you another technique. This is a, a no-eye Santa paint job we're doing today. Okay, he's just got no eyes. and Just the eyebrows, and that gives him his whole look. So the bigger you make the eyebrows, you know, and the more expressive you make them, the, the neater the guy looks, you know the whole piece yeah. try not to cover up your carving lines too much paint can actually fill them in so make sure you go over it then with your brush after you smooth a lot of the paint out until you can see those lines again you can even put some black underneath these but like I said I'm gonna keep this as simple as possible we could paint him a lot nicer once we do the detail and smooth uh, everything in and you'll see what I mean but I'm just gonna Show you a couple of quick basic techniques and move on so we can, 
me not get on to the next video, actually. Okay, he's done. I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. Put the band of white on the bottom here, see? And uh, the fur on top. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to show the whole process, but... I'm going to make sure that his eyebrows are a little bit different color than that fur. And the white line on the top and bottom. But when I start doing the, the final details and stuff... I won't detail the rolling pin here. I'll just roll, uh, show you on the other piece because I'm basically doing the same thing. It just depends on the design I'm going to do. I'm using a smaller brush so I don't get the paint all over the face and everything because I'm really not going to paint the face much more. I'm just probably just going to blush the cheeks. And on this guy, though, when I do paint the eyes, which I don't know if I'm going to cover in this video quite yet, Depends on how long it gets. I'm going to actually put the eyes on this guy, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you a little way you can just come up with two quick eyes on those little mounds that we made on this rolling pin here. So I will make sure I cover it. Even if it's not in this video, I'll explain it in the next one and then move on to the next video or whatever. And I want you guys to see another way that you can do if you have eyes. Especially these types. We didn't really carve an eye. We just left a little mouse so we could put some paint on it. As you can see how the colors actually start making him look like something when he didn't really look too uh, interesting before. Once he's painted and the more shading you put on him and everything, you can make these things pretty nice. And they're pretty simple carvings. Okay, we're going to... Go back to Santa here. I'm going to take some black and let me show you how to make him look uh, even more interesting now, now that we have our white on. I'm just going to squirt a little bit of this on a paper towel. And what we're about to do is just shade around his hat and around his face a little bit. And we'll make that pop a little bit more by dry brushing some, some black around that and uh what dry brushing is, if you never did it or never heard of it, is you put some paint on your brush, you wipe most of it off, okay, until there's not that much left on your brush. Sometimes you want some a little more on your brush, sometimes not, right? And we're just going to brush it and kind of smear it and smudge it for some shading. And we'll put some shadow around that white so it just doesn't look like such a flat type of just a white line going around. We'll give him a little bit more depth, make him look a little bit more interesting, dirty him up a little bit, I like to say a lot of times when I'm painting. He just looks too clean and bright. So we want to, you know, smudge it around and keep it on the top, keep it on the bottom, we'll go around his face and we'll give him some shadow with this. And if you want more black, you just put a little bit more on your brush and smudge it in. Okay, and if it gets too much on the white and you don't like it, you can always go back to the titanium white and go from the bottom up and paint that white right up into the black and then smudge it again, you know, until a lot of the black is away and you just have a nice little line of black going around it. So you can always clean it up if you overdo it. Like right up in here, see how the brush is getting up in there? If it's a little too dirty for you, then just take some white and repaint that. All right, I'm going to go right down the side to outline his face and around the beard. And this is a way to make your Santa look a little bit more painted than just painting them the way we just did. It'll make you look like you're a little bit better painter. He's painted a little better. And uh, it's pretty simple to do, guys. It's just, just really smudging, okay? And then you clean it up with the same colors. Like I said, if I got too much on his face, I'd get more of that flesh color, that, that khaki color or whatever, and I'd, I'd take the black off with it, you know? just paint right into it so that's that's uh, the kind of effect that gives you and we'll go around the face and the beard and the fur and we'll try to like right here there's a little over painting you know so I'll, I'll shade that in a little bit on the bottom there where the, the paint started going into the red and you can even go around his nose just a little bit with a little bit of shadow and again, what I would usually do is I would get the flesh color again and 
put a drop or two of it on his nose and then take another brush and I'd blend that into the black so it all went in real nice but kind of rushing here just to show you what's going on and how to do it so uh, I'll work on it later after the video but I'm just trying to show you you know one way that you can clean this up you can make his eyebrows pop a little bit more by giving him a, a little bit of shading and then like I said you can always go over it again with a little bit more white and just leave a little bit of that shading and a little bit of the black you know on the outsides of it and it, it'll make it pop a lot more and go under his mustache as long as you have a little bit of uh, paint on that brush you'll get a little bit of shad shadow can't talk today so you see the kind of effect that we're, we're getting with just by smudging a little bit of paint and dry brushing it in certain areas of the carving okay and you can run this brush through the lines of the beard and make them stand out a little bit more dirty that up so it just doesn't look like it's just all one flat paint job and the cleanup part after this is usually just taking the same colors like I said and then taking some of that black off where you don't want it and blending it, blending it all in so it looks like a natural shade but I like to just kind of do what we're doing here and let them look dirty I mean it's kind of a cool look actually uh, I really like that look it makes him look like I said more old world Santa type paint job let me see oh, I forgot to do that I gotta add a little more here because I forgot to do around the the bottom and you'll see why that black's important too because when we want to dress up the fur even more the next thing we're going to do after we get our black on here is going to dress them up even more and that'll be the some of the finishing touches on this guy and I'm going to do all the same things to the rolling pin okay but we'll try to finish showing you some of the techniques uh, to dress this guy up with just this Santa here so I don't have to make the video too long you know painting both of them but uh, you'll see the end results uh, in other videos later on I'll show you how I painted the rolling pin I'm pretty much doing the same thing to both of them so whatever I do here I'll, I'll add the same techniques to the rolling pin and uh, maybe give him a little bit different design than we'll give this Santa when we put the final detail on but it's it's the same thing you know I add the white I make sure that my eyebrows are a different color white more like an antique white or a, a eggshell white but not titanium white like we do the fur and then we'll put our black shading around like we're doing here and that makes him start popping a little bit you know see see that, how that brings that Santa out now gave him a little bit of depth so that right there should be good for the black. We'll rinse the brush off here. Make sure you clean that black out. You don't want it to get up in the ferrules. Because then your brush will be shot. And throw it away and get another one. So try and keep it clean. Try and get all that paint out. And then once you wipe most of it off, you know, you'll, you'll be good to go and use it again. Or you can put it back in the pack. And these are just acrylic paints that I'm using. So there's, there's no oil or anything. Squeeze the water out and get the paint out. And then on to the next uh, technique that we're going to do to dress this little guy up here. Okay. That should be good. Let's see. I'm going to take some regular white here again. gonna just start adding some dots with a thinner brush just to make that fur a little bit more interesting and I'm trying to keep them in the black shading that we did I put some black shading around there so this is how I would dress it up by just taking some white paint same color as the fur and going up into that black shading and I'm just going to put little dabs all the way down and around and it's just enough to make them a little fancier and make them look like we did a lot of work to them when really we didn't okay and that right there is that 
doesn't really take too much. And you know, do the same thing around the bottom here. See that black shading has a purpose. And then if it's a little too dirty, like on the hat, I can always add more of the titanium white and blend up a little bit and get some of the shading off if I don't want it and really clean them up nice. But I like them kind of dirty looking and old world type, uh, not real fancy and pretty and perfect. I like them with a little bit of smudge here and there. It just makes them look a little bit more interesting. And I don't know. I, ju I just like that look. Another thing you can do is, I don't know if I could do this with the paintbrush. When I'm decorating a Santa, I like to put a couple of stars. And what I would do is, I would do this with a toothpick, guys. A nice little pointed toothpick. It's not really working with this brush and my white paint's drying up here. But uh, I'll give you an idea of what a couple of stars, if I can even make a star. It's kind of hard with this, this big paintbrush. I mean, I have thinner ones for this, and I've watered the paint down. But a couple of starbursts here and there make him look pretty interesting, and it just dresses him up nice, you know? You don't have to be fancy. They don't have to be perfect. But the nicer the star, of course, the nicer the Santa, and the nicer the paint job. But like I said, for video purposes, you'll, you'll get the idea for learning purposes of uh, what to do. And I did find out through experience doing this over the years that uh, less is more so if you put too many you can overdo it put a couple here and there dresses them up just enough see how that little sanding drum sand is starting to look a little bit more interesting now just with every little change we make you know but I do recommend using a toothpick for this not a big clunky brush and you put a dot of paint in the center and then just use the tip of that toothpick to just kind of drag some paint out from the center. You know, I'm trying to use the same brush because I already have it in my hand and it's making them kind of smudged and you know, they're really not good stars. And I would make sure that I had some good, good enough paint on there like that one on the top so when I do do it, it's actually a, a lot brighter than these little faded ones. But sometimes they work too, you know. The difference in how white that one is at the top and then the one right underneath it is a little faded. So, that's how we can dress that up that way. Okay. After that, we can even add more color. What I did was I put a little orange here and uh, I'll go around and randomly space out just three dots like this. Two on the top, one on the bottom. And you can flip that and do it the other way around also. You can put one on the top and two on the bottom. Or just single dots all over your Santa. Just just little splashes of color here and there. Dress them up, you know. And different colors. You could do a powdered blue. You could do yellow. Yellow really makes it pop. I'm just kind of using the colors that are in front of me right now and showing you different ways that you can make your little sanding drum Santa more interesting to look at. See how neat he's starting to look? And like I said, less is more. You don't want to overdo it. Or you can put polka dots all over the thing and go nuts. I mean, it's your Santa. I like to space them out a little bit and try not to do too much because after you put the dots on when you already had some stars, that's plenty of decoration to dress up our Santa Claus clean the brushes out here yeah he doesn't look too bad huh I'm gonna make sure that now this right here I'm gonna usually I would wet my brush down a lot for this but I got some red and I'm just gonna dry brush it kind of I should actually have a, a bigger brush for this but I'm just gonna dry brush a little bit I'm wiping that paint off as much as I can off of the brush and then trying to smudge some on his cheeks I'll smudge some on his cheeks and on his nose a lot of times I'll dip, dip my finger in water after that and then I'll use my finger to just go over that and blend it all in okay or you can keep your brush wet but right now I'm just dry brushing the color on and uh, that's probably where I'll leave it like I said I don't want to go into too much detail and make the video you know two hours long and what else I would do after that as far as blending all this in like I said I'd wet my finger a little and I would smear it around and try to make all that blend in Make sure you get a little bit on his forehead. You 
you go. Just just so it rosies him up a little bit. And uh, you can use these techniques. You can put a little bit under his eyes, you know, and, and blend it all in, you know. A lot of times if you overdo it with the red paint, you can take that same flesh color that you use, get not too much on your brush, and just go over the face again and blend it in that way, you know. You can always keep adding pink. Make sure you get his lip a little bit, so that's a little pink or red. And now he's got rosy cheeks and a little cherry nose, you know. Like I said, usually I would blend that in a little bit better. But that'll work for our Santa. Okay, so this right here is kind of like... It's, it's what I ended up with for now. I mean, I'll show you the end result. And this right here is... Uh, going to be cleaned up. I'll paint it up a lot better and show you guys, you know, what I ended up with. And I'll paint the rolling pin and I'll show you guys that in the next video. But he was meant to be simple, so we made him simple and that's going to be it for this video. So I'll see everybody in the next one. I hope you learned a couple of tips. And we'll keep on painting and we'll keep on making some new creations and have some fun and have a fun Christmas. See you then.